So John, we're here day two. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. We're at the famous Las Vegas sign here at the southern end of the strip. And coincidentally, the Welcome to Las Vegas sign is right across from Signature Flight Services. But look at that. Yeah, coronavirus warning, right? To help limit the spread of coronavirus, please adhere to social distancing recommendations and stay at least six feet away from other people. Nobody's doing that, but that's okay. Yeah. So people are waiting in line to take a picture in front of the sign. But across the street is Signature Flight Services. Right? Yeah. So Signature Flight Services was just uh, acquired by Bill Gates. Was it really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did he do that? Oh, it's the largest private jet servicing company. Um, they've got facilities all over. And he just made a, another large investment in the company. There's an aircraft out on the runway with a strange piece of art on the tail. Is that Baphomet or it something? It looks like Baphomet to me. I don't know, is that ram with the horns or something? The ram skull? And it's I, like a goat. I can't, yeah, dead goat no, skull. No, it's definitely Baphomet. So Can you see the jet is that? Is the tail N70108? Is that correct? I'm not sure it I might be it. a B. B at the end, end or an A. B eight. or an eight. N seven zero one zero B or N seven zero one zero eight with Baphomet on the tail. B for Baphomet. And another couple jets sitting next to it. And a whole bunch of folks waiting to get their picture taken in front of the Las Vegas sign. Now let me ask you a question: Is that dude wearing body armor, smoking weed over there, or is yeah. that some sort of why, why body armor? Because they're riding fast bikes up in the canyons, and when you fall off your bike. It, Keeps you from getting. That's not. That's not bulletproof. That's motorcycle armor. Motorcycle armor. That's if you fall off. You want to go across the street and see the. Sure. Jets? Yeah. Let's run. 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 I don't run across the street. These well, people will wait for me. Zoom. 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 That says restricted area. No trespassing. Yeah, they're super not into you going over there and videotaping what's up. But so N7. I think some people will know that Baphomet jet just from seeing it. Yeah. I'm curious who's uh, Baffo who's it jet. Is. So it's N7010 B or 8. Um, it might be a B. And then the one to the left of it is N770 CJ. It's a B, uh, the last. Yeah, it's a B. It's, it's N701DB. Oh, DB, DB. Looks like. 701DB. Then behind it, we have N83UF. Another jet. Looks like it's getting a paint job. Gray and white. It's difficult to focus past I'm the sure, fence yeah. here. Shooting through a fence here. We're now, what's interesting focus. is there was a C-550 citation that taxied to this location the night of the Vegas shooting. We see a C-550 private jet landing at 10 o'clock. This is where it taxis to. And if you look out here where all these jets are parked, and here you have, there's a private jet coming in that's on, uh, being serviced, but that's like the C-550. It's a small private jet. It landed at 10 p.m. and it taxied here to Signature Flight Services. Right down the road from Signature on the other side is Maverick. At 10 p.m. when the C-550 landed, we see Maverick take off with seven helicopters just minutes later. Right. At 10, 12, 10, 13 p.m. They're behind us now, over there. So Maverick is behind us, behind Signature Flight Services. And I'm looking right now we at Mandalay walk Bay. down there. Yeah, that's it. So right now, Mandalay Bay is behind us, and the Luxor, Mandalay Bay, Delano, that's all behind us. And so this is Signature. It's super hot today. Yeah, it's a hot day. Signature flight services, private jets. There's another one, C-F-A-S-V, another private jet. N915TF. You guys can look these up and find out who owns them. These are this is public information. That's interesting that they, you know, you have to know who owns a jet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Now, some of them are registered to holding companies and stuff like that. Right. Man, it's really hot. I don't know how long the, uh, the phone might overheat from this. Yeah. Just roasting in the direct sun. Maybe what we'll do is just take a uh, walk down towards uh, Maverick and get a shot of that, and uh, it'll be a short session. But Well, and not only that, you know, a lot of the stuff that you and I are talking about seems to be resulting in our respective channels getting struck. So we might... Medical disinformation. Whatever. But we might do a little uh, short Vegas series here that takes place mostly on... Subscribe Star and Patreon. This is kind of a special edition of the uh, the road trip with special guest John Cullen. I don't know that we made enough of a big deal out of the fact that you're here. I don't know what kind of big deal we need to make. But I haven't been here since the shooting. Well, I mean here in the United States. Well, that's kind of a big deal. Right, so here, so this is interesting, right? We're at Signature Flight Services. Here's the building, but here's all the Maverick vans. No, that's that's Signature Flight Services. Oh, you're right. And, and Maverick here's all is the Maverick there. vans. So well, we're at Signature. Signature, I think, gives you the gas and fixes everything. And you park, and they service, and so when if you have a private jet and you're flying into Las Vegas. Where do you put your jet when you get here? Yeah, you're paying Signature to park your jet. And now, do you want your jet cleaned? Do you need fuel? Do you want them to vacuum the inside? Service, any kind of repairs. Right? Well, so Maverick, obviously, this is the parking lot for their vans. They go pick you up at your hotel for your Grand Canyon flight or your Vegas strip City flight. Lights. City Lights is the night tour. Now over here is Maverick. So Maverick's over here. But we yeah. got a whole bunch of Maverick vans parked over at Signature. So I'm guessing they kind of work They together. probably do so much business with them. Yeah. Maybe they, maybe they even own it. So this is the executive terminal, private jets, etc. Yeah, and Maverick is basically exclusively equipped with these Airbus helicopters with yep. that enclosed tail rotor that, if I remember correctly, is also supposed to make them quieter. Yes. Oh, it's a real luxurious helicopter. It's, it's the helicopter. And they have course. a lot of them. Yeah. I think the last time I looked, they had about 50. So these are... Well, let's go look at them here. These are 3 million and up, like 3.2, 3.5 million each, and they have 50 of them. Yeah, I mean, we want to be careful because these guys are very, they struck the last video I did inside their place. If they ask us to leave, we'll leave. And remember, you know, this is owned by that guy, Greg, who is a Vietnam vet, who did something for the CIA in Rock terms of G right, buying right. a Russian helicopter in Afghanistan. Yeah. So the Rocknas, his wife is Ginny, Ginny Rockna, and they own 50-something helicopters. He's a former Vietnam. Well, and not only that, there is a Maverick. This is like Maverick Air, and yep. then there's Maverick Aviation in yep. Alabama that Jeff Sessions is a part owner of. And I'm and not that, sure if they're connected or not. never really got... I think Jeff Sessions was involved but it never really got fully, uh, you know, sussed out as to exactly what that was all about. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, here we see all the helicopters. By the way, we're not saying Maverick did anything I think they were heroes. Bad, right? I think these guys are the heroes of the night. But they just don't, they can't reveal what their involvement was because it exactly. would reveal exactly what was going on that night. Right. No trespassing. So for but three and a half a million bucks, you too can get one of these. Now, I think what's it's the gas that really. What's interesting is I'm not I'm not seeing like how the rear windows. How do you look out of the back? Uh, it looks like it only has a window for the front. It's kind of weird. Probably cameras. So Maverick flies out to the Grand Canyon 
and they do their City Lights tour. And the City Lights tour flies up to the stratosphere, goes around the stratosphere. That should be our first interview subject. And comes back down. Let's go say hello. You sure are nice helicopters though, right? Yeah. Excuse me, miss. Can we talk to you for a second? For YouTube? Hi. We have a channel on YouTube and he has about 120,000 subscribers, so say hello. Hi, I'm Sightseeing Sally. I'm, I'm on YouTube too. I have Hi, Sightseeing about Sally. 13,000, 14,000 subscribers. Where can people see your YouTube channel? It's called Sightseeing Sally. Aha, uh -huh. and so you're just going around doing some sightseeing? Yes, I am. Um, you want to stand in the shade? Sure. What's we over there in the, in the under the tree? What brought you here to Maverick Helicopters? Um, well, I just love watching the airplanes take off. I, I just think it's really cool to see them go off. And this is my first time in Vegas. Oh, really? I've never been to Vegas before until until now. And so we've been just checking everything out. Mm -hmm. Enjoying watching the planes take off and the jets. And cool. Now, you remember in 2017 they had that whole shooting right on the strip yeah, yeah where were you when that happened i was back in wisconsin is that where happened. you're from yes yes uh-huh and wisconsin kind of a red state voted for trump right yeah what do you think about the uh job that joe biden has been doing i noticed you're not wearing a mask so perhaps um well i i wear a mask in areas where it's required yeah no i'm not i'm not <laughs> saying that you should um how do I think Joe Biden's doing so far? Um, that's kind of a loaded question. Are you a little worried about his uh, coordination? Um, you know, to be honest, I really, I try to stay out of the political yeah, yeah. fray because one, I think no matter which side of the aisle they are on, they're all basically crooked. <laughs> um, and I consider myself independent and not well let's, let's leave that aside for now so what did you think when you heard about that shooting on the uh, on the street uh, that was really shocking actually I mean you know you, you think the FBI did a good job investigating it did they investigate it we got a two and a half page report a year later um, you think Stephen Paddock did this by himself one guy I uh, know what I, do you I, think happened? I, well I'm kind of into the, some of the conspiracy theories on that. Well, what do you um, think happened? Well, I think I think there was definitely uh, some individuals helping, and I think that person probably took the fall for it because it didn't seem, even from what we heard in the news, it didn't seem like uh, it was quite possible that all of that could have been done. Like. It sounded like that there were more shots that were fired than what he could have possibly have done himself. Yeah. And coming from different directions, not just from the direction that he was shooting. You so have you ever you heard this? pretty educated on this. Like, you've been looking into this. Well, we, we did find it kind of interesting. And my partner who's in the vehicle is kind of into the conspiracy Would he theories. want to talk to us, you think? Ask him to come. Let's go over and talk to him. Okay. Talk to yeah. him. Yeah. Well, you ask him if he it's wants to talk to us. Yeah, that, yeah, that's in the sun over there. It's okay. We can talk to him in the sun for a few minutes. We're going to get roasted. Is it, okay? it Is it okay if we talk to you for YouTube? Yeah. Do you, you mind just killing the yeah, motor we were for a just second? Promoting so our channel. For sound, you mind just killing the engine for a second? Okay. So what do you think happened? Do you think Stephen Paddock did the shooting? Okay. That's what we were talking about the yeah, shooting. Yeah, the Vegas shooting. And we're here by the helicopters. And uh, we were just talking to you about your tours. And uh, you said that you heard some of these rumors and stuff. One of the rumors or one of the theories is that the shooters were in the helicopters. Not Maverick, but in helicopters. Yeah, that's what I heard too, actually. Yeah. I thought you were referring to one that was recent, <laughs> the death of No, 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 the one three years ago. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Stephen Paddock, yeah. Yeah, where they were doing it supposedly out of a hotel room window, where right. a gentleman was supposed to be firing all these rounds. Yeah. I don't believe that. I think something else was going on. I did hear the helicopter 
theory yeah. aspect or theory of it. Mm -hmm. That could be one, or there was more than one shooter in that hotel. Are you from Wisconsin as well, or do you live yeah, in Vegas? Yeah, we both actually live in the same spot in Wisconsin. So got this it. is this, you know, we don't live in Vegas, but that's kind of what I got from it when mm -hmm. I originally seen it. I believe that was a country western concert yeah, at the yeah, time yeah, that was yeah. going on. Yeah. Did you watch any videos on YouTube about it or see any no, stuff No, I just seen what was on the news at the time for about, mm -hmm. you know, what's going on for about a week. Okay. But that's exactly what I got from it, too, that it didn't make any sense. Me being a country boy and right. around a lot of weapons my whole life. Know what they sound know, like. What they sound like. And to me, unless there had to be more than one person shooting, I've never heard firing Thousand like miles. that yeah. unless the more than one person was involved. Yeah, I've been on ranges thing. practicing in the woods in same, northern Wisconsin same, yeah. with assault rifles. And, you know, right. But to me, it didn't make any sense right. to see one of the gentlemen did that. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for your insights, guys. It was nice speaking with you. Thank you very much. I, I want to encourage you guys Vegas. to check out Jason's channel on YouTube. Did you get them? Still? It's called Jason Goodman. Jason Goodman? Do you yeah. have like a card or anything? Don't have a no, card. he doesn't use a card. So Everybody Jason, watching will tell Give us that. We'll, we'll promote this. Do you want to get them? In a, I mean, we're not big 13 and a half thousand, but we could awesome. shout out to you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, so thank you. Let me grab my mic. Okay. Probably won't help you guys much, but... Well, J Jason has 120,000 subscribers. I have about, what, 35, 36,000. And I'm probably the guy that did the most videos on the helicopters. Yeah. Probably? I say undoubtedly. Okay, so I'm... If, I'm if you have to check that out. So if you I wanted to know theory. who was the father of the helicopter theory... It's John Cohen. I'm John Cohen. So here's your sticker. This is cool. I'm gonna put this in my pocket. So we'll do this, and then you have you, you can shout out your name. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And sure. So you guys are on tour. So this is Jason Goodman, and I'm John Cullen. John Cullen. Cullen. C Cullen. That's all right. C U L L E N. Okay. And my channel has a different name, which I'll explain. Okay. But we're here at Maverick Helicopters, and the night of the shooting, we believe these guys were the big heroes. So that's why we came down to kind of look at the helicopters, because okay. we think they were the heroes of the night. Okay. And nobody knows this. Okay. And you guys just happen to be here. So yeah, we you, just happen to be here. You want to mention these guys? Right, dueling so YouTube action. Jason and Goodman and John Cullen. That's right. Well, Welcome. Sightseers, I'm out here, and I ran into Jason Goodman and John Cullen, and they're both YouTubers, and I'll let you let you guys explain a little bit about what your channels are about. Why don't you go first? Well, you know, we're here in uh, Vegas. I'm on a nationwide road trip. New York is an absolute disaster, so I left, and we're driving all around, and we're just talking to nice people like you guys from Wisconsin, trying to figure out what's going on we're all going to be locked down new york has introduced this excelsior pass and now joe biden is saying the entire nation may be subjected to using these kind of covid uh, passports that'll show that you've been vaccinated or have had a negative test right now you're not allowed into madison square garden or the barclays center in new york without it but pretty soon any business will be able to access that so perhaps whole foods perhaps Bass Pro, any place, you won't be able to get in without showing your papers. <laughs> documents, documents, so, right? So Jason and I have been working together on Crowdsource the Truth, is uh, the name of Jason's show. And if you go to Jason Goodman on YouTube, you'll find Jason's channel. And every Friday, we do a show together. Oh, cool. And I've been doing the show with Jason for the last two years or so from Thailand. Oh, wow. I just came from Thailand to meet Jason here in Vegas because I was doing research. Oh, there's the Janet Air. And that's Janet Airlines over there. Those are the planes that go to Area 51. The ones ah, with the, we were wondering which All right, So the, one, the ones with the red stripes and no numbers on the tail, that's Area 51. Okay. okay. So they just got back from Area 51. Nice. So my research began about three and a half years ago. I was not a YouTuber. And I started doing YouTube videos after watching the Vegas shooting. Okay. And what I saw at the Vegas shooting, as, as a shooter, I know guns, mm -hmm. and this is not one man doing this. This is, this is more than like one Like you shooter. guys said. 
And yeah. what I started to do was watch the videos that people were recording with their phones. And by studying the video footage, what I realized was there were no shots coming from 32-135. Oh, okay. And we had video of the room as the shots are being fired. And there, there's no there's muzzle no flash, flash coming from the room at all. But we do see muzzle flash coming from that little room next door that supposedly they were shooting a 308. So I'm like, well, wait a second. If I see muzzle flash from one, why don't I see it from the automatic yeah. stuff? Right. And I start studying and studying, and I realize about, I guess it was a week or 10 days into it, oh my god, they're shooting from the helicopters. And I'm like, holy mackerel, this is an aerial assault. And while the attack is going on, seven Maverick helicopters take off in the middle of the shooting. You're like, well, what? Why would you do that? Somebody was being rescued, we be I believe, mm -hmm. and Maverick were the heroes. And so Jason and I came down to take a look at the fleet, look at some of these aircraft that the night of the Vegas shooting most likely, I believe, these aircraft were used to evacuate VIPs that they were trying to kill. Wow. Now, I hate to cut this short, but I'm concerned about this stuff getting overheated okay. in the direct sun. Sure. So you guys can check out John Cullen Investigates on Crowdsource the Truth. The channel's called Johnny Hoover. I'm John Cullen. Johnny Hoover's J. Edgar Hoover's real name. Okay. I don't know why J. you chose that. <laughs> well, because they cut off the first one. And your channel is Sightseeing Sally yes. on YouTube. It was so nice to meet you, Sally. Yeah, to meet you guys. Nice to meet and you. nice to meet you. Thanks for taking the time You're to speak welcome. with us. Enjoy well, Vegas, guys. Back. Take right, care. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, let's get some shade here, John. Um, let's head back over to the vehicle. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah, this is overheating. Bye-bye. This is overheating, so What's that? I think that I think that might be it for this little sort of uh, bonus live stream. I have to say, I don't know if Vegas earns the title of Ghost Town. It's been more uh, busy, really, than any other place I've been to. It's definitely not up to its normal Vegas -y self. No. But uh, considering how other cities are at this moment. Wait, I think we're fenced in. We gotta go back out this way. Alrighty. I'm so you see how National Rent-A-Car has a thing here, so you can fly in with your private jet and grab a car and head to your destination. That's cool. So this is how you do it. You fly in and out of here. So I have to believe that many of the entertainers that perform here in Vegas fly in to this location, and this is where they're picked up from. Oh, yeah. This is your private jet. But they're not renting national renter cars. They're having limos right. pick them up. It's interesting, too, because I, I'm not really aware of another city where the airport is so close to the downtown. You're like right on it. Yeah, literally, literally. Yeah, so this is really overheating. All right, we'll have to wrap it up soon. Yeah, so here's Maverick. Again, my, my speculation is that Maverick were the heroes. And that that night, Maverick evacuated VIPs either from the Four Seasons or from the C-550 that landed at Signature. Oh, no, wait a minute. Speaking of C-550, uh -huh. I saw a big gray military jet from the highway. I don't know. I don't know if we can see it from here. That Baphomet jet is... Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, there it yeah. is. We can walk that way. So what is that? That is a big military aircraft in gray drab. I don't know if I can identify it. Yeah, let's just, we can see it from here. I don't think It looks like a 747. I think it's got a bulge on top. No. Yeah. Way too small to be a 747. Looks like a short one because it has the bulge in the front on the top. 
I don't think Whatever's that's a seven four seven. Model, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not a I'm not a jet junkie. I don't. I can't identify. It could be a C one thirty for all I know. Kind of looks like a C one thirty. Looks like a big heavy transport plane. But I can't tell from here. <coughs> I think I lost it here. There it is. <coughs> So here's your private jet parking. Mercedes go on the wagon G63, AMG S65. Wow, Shelby Raptor. Couple I didn't Shelby even know Raptors. They made that. That's What's a Shelby Raptor? This is the most expensive Ford F-150 you can buy. And they have kinda, two. Kind of has a Dan Bilzerian look to it, like maybe Dan stopped in. Couple <laughs> Range Rovers. I don't know what that uh, Maserati gray. SUV. Yeah, there's a lot of those around. Yeah. Limo parking only. Yeah, so there is a big military jet out it's there. It's definitely not a 747. No, no, it's more like a C-130. Well, but a C-130 is kind of a big fat thing. That's a pretty big fat thing. That's pretty far. I think it's further than you think. Right now we're on Wayne Newton Boulevard. That's exciting. And this little jet is a Legacy 450 by Embraer, and its tail is CFASV. Brazilian manufacturer. I don't really know. And you know that the guy from Dassault just passed away, right? Dassault? I did not know that. Yeah, the head of Dassault aircraft uh, was killed in a crash, I think, oh, wow. just a week or two ago. So the Dassault Falcons and all that. Yeah, the head of the company was killed just a week or two ago. Wow. Really tragic story. David Hawkins did an episode a while back about the president of, I think, Rwanda. Yes. Died in a, a Dassault Falcon crash. Can we go through there? Yeah. Died in a Dassault Falcon crash that landed like in the in the garden of the presidential palace or something. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty. Watch your step here. Kind of a coincidence. <laughs> All right. You want to wrap up here in the shade? Uh, yeah, we could do that. We're going to continue to do some more videos here in Vegas. Uh, I hope that people will tune in to John Cullen Investigates on Fridays on uh, subscribestar.com slash I am John Cullen and uh, patreon.com slash I am John Cullen. If people are enjoying this road trip, please sponsor Crowdsource the Truth on subscribestar.com slash crowdsource the truth or patreon.com slash crowdsource the truth. I'm in ongoing communications now with Patreon about getting the crowdsource the truth server Which is great working news. with Patreon. Really that is great grateful. news yeah. for our Patreon sponsors and for everybody. I have that on there pretty soon. And uh, we will catch everybody a little bit later. Thanks for watching.